welcome to the video series on Ravelry. Now, Ravelry is a fantastic platform and many, many crafters across the world still don't know about the wealth of information available in Ravelry. So today I want to show you the first thing about Ravelry and that is to find a pattern. Now here you can see that my login details are already there because I've had my Ravelry account for a long time. That is completely evident by the username there, Yarn in a Barn, that used to be my um, yarn shop that I had for a while. But if you don't have a Ravelry account, you will click here on the Join Now button. If, however, you do have a Ravelry account set up, you can input your own username and your password and you can follow me with your computer or you can um, just watch the entire video first and then go for it afterwards. So I'm going to log in so that we can see what Ravelry looks like and what it's all about. Now you land on a page where they share the news in the world of Ravelry. I seldom go down on this page but there's always something to read here. Um, it's, it's basically news, what's happening in Ravelry, changes that they've made to the website and all those kind of things. But what I want to show you in this video specifically is how to find a pattern. So I'm going to click here on the top left on patterns. Now, you can either start here and just say, I want to make, um, what are we going to want? let's say we want to make a beanie you can say i want to make a beanie and you will get so many patterns can you see there 92,962 matches now to go through 92,962 pictures to see what you want is going to take a long time so let me show you a better way. Let's go back to the previous page so that I can show you right from the beginning. Instead of typing in here, you want a beanie. Go for the advanced search. Now the advanced search gives you a lot of filters you can use. Now the first filter here, now please um, note that the filters on this left hand side, yours might not be in the same order as mine, but they will all be there. So this first one is notebook. Am I looking for something that I've previously marked as a favorite? Am I looking for something, a pattern that I already have in my personal library? We will get to that later on in the series. Am I looking for something that I've already started a project on? Am I looking for something that I've queued to do later or whatever? This entire thing we will get to later. What I want to get to now is craft. Do you want to crochet it? Do you want to knit it? Do you want to machine knit it or do you want to loom knit it? So let me say, um, I want to knit it. So we choose knitting. Now look what happens immediately. Um, let me take that one out first. Okay, remember now we have not searched for a hat yet. So let's, let's let us search for, uh, what did we have previously? Beanie. Let's put just beanie in here without any of the filters on the left. There's the 92,962 matches. Okay, I want to knit this. So look what happens. It has gone down substantially. Very interesting to note, there's a lot more knitted beanies on Ravelry than there are crocheted beanies. Interesting. Okay, we've chosen the craft. So now let's go for, we've already said it's a beanie. So we don't have to change anything here, but I want to take you through the options anyway. If you are making clothing, look at all the options you have. And some of them have subcategories. For, in, for instance, if I want to make a sweater, I can say it's a cardigan or a pullover or something else. If I want to make a top, does it have to be sleeveless, strapless, a tee or what other? So the filters built into the Ravelry searches really, really make the offerings a lot less. Okay. Accessories are things like 
a bag, um, socks, gloves, um, hats, jewelry, uh, shawls and scarves are all in, in the neck and torso category. You can see a bib, a cape, a collar, a, co a cowl, a necktie, a poncho, a scarf, a shawl or a wrap or other. So use the filter categories to narrow it down even more. But because I said beanie on the top, that is what is offered to me. It's beanies. Okay. Can I afford a pattern or not? Suppose I am flat broke. I want free patterns, please. So let's look at the availability. Now, would I want to make a pattern that doesn't have a photo? No, I want to see what the thing looks like before I knit it. So I want a photo, please. All right. Now we get to the interesting part. Um, let me, okay, let's go for it. Accessibility, um, there's things like some patterns are posted for people with special needs. That's what you will get in accessibility. Color work are specific things like intarsia, mosaic, stranded stripes or color work, specific color work techniques. The construction is now remember these options that are offered here are not only applicable to a beanie it's applicable to everything these are the standard filters in Ravelry so you could say if you were doing a shawl you would want to maybe do short rows or maybe you would want to have gloves with thrums in or you don't like knitting in the round so you want to work it flat as for me I hate working flat with a beanie because then I have a seam. I want to work in the round. Do I want to work top down or do I want to go bottom up? The choice is entirely yours. Um, it doesn't matter much. I prefer to go bottom up when it's a beanie specifically unless I don't know or I'm not sure of how much yarn I'm going to use then I would rather go top down so that I well with a beanie it's not going to help even if I have too little the beanie is not going to sit nice so for a beanie top down bottom up uh, it's totally personal preference I prefer bottom up if it was socks I would have gone toe up for sure so that I know the foot of the sock is done and I can use whatever yarn I have left over to crochet or knit the legs as long as possible. So that is personal preference, absolutely the construction. Okay, crochet techniques is obviously only applicable to crochet. Do you want to do Irish crochet? Do you want to do fillet crochet? Do you want to do pineapple? Do you want to do lover's knot? There's a lot of options you can choose to narrow your search down. Okay, let's look at the design elements. Obviously, this is more applicable to something like a cardigan or a top, not necessarily a beanie, but I want to show it to you anyway. Do you want a collar? If so, yes. What type of collar do you want? Do you want edging? What type of edging? What does the neck look like? What do you want? Do you want a cowl neck? Do you want a halter neck? Do you want a v-neck? Do you want a boat neck? All of those you can choose. Do you want pockets? What kind of pockets do you want? Must they be hidden? Must they be patched on afterwards? Must it be an afterthought pocket? What must it be? The sleeves. There's so many options. Right, so let's leave all of that because I'm not interested in that with the beanie so much. The fabric characteristics. What do you want? Do you want cables? Do you want brioche? Do you want um, eyelets? In other words, like lacy. There's a proper lace. Do you want mesh? Must it be reversible? Okay, let's say uh, I want to do brioche. I love brioche. So let's do brioche. Okay, I want a brioche beanie. Mature content is things like um, there are people that design... Um, clothes or whatever with some mature content what like swear words in the interlocking patterns um, pictures of penises or whatever that you will find if you're looking for mature content you have to tick the box otherwise it will not be offered to you 
Pattern instructions. Yes, I can knit off a chart, but I don't like it. I prefer a written pattern. Okay. Uh, regional ethnic styles. This doesn't really apply to a beanie. I couldn't care from which country culture it comes. I just want a brioche beanie. What is the shape like? Okay, with the beanie again, it doesn't really matter. It's just a beanie. And then there's specific sock techniques that you can choose if you want to make a sock. All right, now let's go to the age or size. Obviously, this is for myself, so I want the pattern for an adult. I don't want beanies. And it's for a femur. Now let's go up and see. I uh, haven't done weight yet. Let's go up and see how many brioche beanies are offered. There's 28. I actually don't have to filter it any morph. 28 fits on one page. So I can quickly go through here. Now you can see this is brioche in one color. Um, to the untrained eye, it may not look like brioche at all. But to the trained eye, I can see it's brioche. Same as this one, same as that one. But I'm looking for something really brioche. Oh, I can't find what I want. I want real. Oh, this one is not too bad. But I don't really like the shape of it. I want a round beanie. I don't want this one with the square ears. Now, okay, I don't really want to make a brioche beanie. This was just for the sake of the... Um, demonstration okay so let me go back a page and let's clear all the um, all the filters and we start again so to clear the filters we can just say clear the search and all the filters will be gone and we are back where we started okay so now let's say you want to make yourself um, what shall we do hmm Shall we do a shawl? Shall we do a jersey? Shall we do... Um, let's go for a poncho. Let's say I want to make a poncho. And now we're going to use the filters to refine the search. Okay, I don't have to tick anything here. I am looking for a pattern. So it won't be anything in my favorites, my library, my projects or anything like that. Let's say this time that I want to crochet it. I don't want to knit it. I want to crochet it. Okay. I don't have to choose the category. I already did that when I said it's a poncho. Okay. I want a free pattern. I don't want to pay for it. I want one with a photo so that I can see what it looks like. Okay. Now, because it's crochet, now you have to f think of what do you want to do. Okay, color work. Do we want color work? Yes or no? No, I only want to make it in color, so I don't want any color work. I'm just going to leave that out. What must the construction be like? Do I want to go top down or bottom up? I would prefer to go top down and make it wider, wider, wider and use up all the yarn that I have to um, reduce my waste as much as I possibly can. I don't want to be left over with a 25 or a 50 gram of yarn. I want to use as much of it and make the poncho as large as possible. So I'm going to go top down. Do I want to work it flat or do I want to work it in the round? Hmm, let's say I want to work in the round. Okay. For who is it? Is it for me? Is it for my baby? Let's say it's an adult one. It's for me for this winter and it's for a female. Do I want it to fit, um, okay, wait a second. Here we go for maternity fit, oversized fit, petite fit, plus fit, tall fit. So if I'm a very tall person, I would go for tall fit. If I'm a very small built person, I will go for petite fit. Now, take note that these filters can only work as far as the designer's make them work with that i mean if i upload a pattern to ravelry and i don't mark the pattern as petite fit or tall fit it won't have any effect so you can see that petite fit will only have two matches 
TORFIT will only have three. So some of these filters are better left out because the designers don't make use of them. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, now here's the interesting part. I have in my cupboard, um, let's say I have a lot of double knit that I would like to use. So give me patterns specific for double knit. Now all of a sudden it looks as if the screen has gone blank, but it says here 12 matches. Can you see here in the bottom right hand corner? That's because there's only 12, so I need to go up to see them. There I've got 12 patterns specifically for females, specific to crochet with double knit yarn. How is that? Isn't that amazing? Okay, now suppose I don't have yarn. I couldn't care what they what they give me. I want to go and buy yarn specifically for this. So let me take the tick out of double knit and let's see how many hits we have now. We have 82. So this can be anything. It can be lace, it can be double knit, it can be fingering, it can be chunky or whatever. Okay, let me see. I have not marked my pattern instructions. I don't want to work off a chart. I hate it. I want a written pattern. Maybe you are a newbie in the world of crochet and you want a video tutorial as well. And there's 23 hits. All of these have got video tutorials that you can use to make this garment for yourself. Oh, I like that one. I really do. This is quite nice. I just don't like the blue. I'm not a blue fan. I'm a black and gray fan, you see. This is also very nice. Oh, look, this one is a poncho that's got little sleeves on. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> if I click on this one, you will now see that this is published in the Drops Design magazine. It's crochet. This is the category. It's a neck, torso, poncho. It was published in October 2018. And the suggested yarn they give you. We will look at that in the next video. The yarn weight for this one is Erin. The hook size is a five and a half. The size is available, small, medium, large, extra large, XXL and triple XL. The crochet terminology is both US and UK. Wonderful. I prefer US. And these are the tags that the designer used when she published the pattern. So if I had said, I want a ballet neck, this one would have been in the results. And many others would have been excluded. If I had said, I want um, crochet edging, this one would have been in the results. Some others might have been excluded. Now, because I said this pattern is available, I want a free pattern. I only got free patterns. Now, let me see. I'm going to right click this one and open it in a new tab. And look what the page looks like because this pattern is available for free here. You can see the, the cursor of the mouse changes. From a little arrow, if I am over words, it becomes a normal cursor. But if I'm here, it becomes the little hand that shows that thing is clickable. So I can click there to get to the pattern. If I click there, this page will open up. And there's the pattern. Oh, this one is nice. They only even say, want to use a different yarn? Try our yarn converter. So with this one... Suppose I've now changed my mind. I went to the shop. I can't find Erin that I like, but I found double knit that I like. I can use the yarn converter provided by the um, publisher of the pattern and change the pattern into something that will work with double knit yarn, for instance. Okay. Let's go back to the search results and let's see what will happen. We have 23 matches here. Okay. Uh, I haven't specified the yarn. I can even specify that I want to work single strand only or I want to work maybe double strand, two yarns together, whatever. How much yarn do I have? Now there's yardage. If you work in yards, you use that. If you don't work in yards, you go for meterage. So maybe... 
I have yarn in my stash. Maybe it is um, double knit. And let's say I have a double knit yarn that is 200 meters on a 100 gram ball. And I have five balls. So I have between 900 and 1,200. I have 1,000 meters of yarn. Hmm, safety sake, I'm going to go for the lesser one, 750 to 900 meters of yarn. And what did we say? I've got, oh, now you see, I can't click double knit because there's no pattern that will match it. I will find, oh, I can find a match in sport or in Aaron, but not in the other one. So there's only one. So the filters make it much easier to get what you want. But if you filter too far, you will have too little results to choose from. So what I usually do, I choose the craft. Let me first clear everything. Uh, clear the search. I choose the craft. I say I want a knit. What do I want in it? Mm, I can either type in beanie here, then it will be very restricted. It, it will be very open, it, or rather it will be restricted. It will be just beanies. Or I can go here and I can say, mm, I want a hat. Which hat do I want? I don't know. Surprise me. Give me all hats. I could have typed in hat at the top and I would have got the same results. Okay, so we close that one. We said we want a hat. And I don't much care about, I want a photo, yes. Uh, must it be free? Yes, preferably. I'm a bit broke today. Um, it's for me. It's for an adult. It's for me. It's for a female. And I don't really care about the weight, but I really like to knit with a three millimeter needle. You can even do that. You can change your favorite hook for a crochet pattern or you can choose your favorite knitting needle size for a knitting pattern. I love a three millimeter needle. How many have I got? 300 matches. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so let's filter. Let's see if we can filter this. Hmm. Let's go to the filter on the fiber what do i have in my stash hmm i have a lot of merino i can bring it down to 87 hits by choosing merino fiber yes you can choose acrylic as well acrylic is four Cotton, there's only two hats made in cotton. There are 11 made in cashmere. Um, there are 10 made in silk. Well, it might be silk and something else. But let me stick with merino and see what we've got. Because I live in South Africa and we've got some of the best merino in the world. Do I want to work with one color or do I want to work with two? There are 48 patterns specified with just one color and there are 10 specified with just two colors. Now immediately you say to me, but Hilda, that's only 58 and you have got how many hits? 87. What happened to the rest? The designer didn't specify the color. So if you choose that, it will filter it out. If we don't choose it, they are all in. Now look at this interesting one. This is a beanie with a pullover thingy or something. Wow, that looks like the neck warmers that I saw in Japan. Let's look what that looks like. That looks so interesting. Oh, how cool is that? I like this part. Not so interested in the beanie. <laughs> I like that part. I really like this part. Okay, let's go back and see. What else we've got? Oh, there's some very nice color work. Now, if I had selected I only want one color, these would have been excluded. These would have been excluded. Those would have been excluded. And this one would have been excluded. As well as that one. Okay, you get the picture. There's some nice feral 
let's try that. Let's say, sorry, if I want to do color work, um, I know, let me just think now, color work is somewhere, where is fair? I'll, because I use it very seldom, I have to think really hard of where to find it. Uh, I know you can find fair all somewhere. Um, bum, 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 bum. Fair all. Fair all is under regional or ethnic styles. So there are two beanies that have been marked by the designer as fair all. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, let's recap. When you get to the Ravelry homepage, that's where I am now, click on Patterns and then click on Advanced Search. And now you can either type in there the general idea of what you want and then go in here and refine your search. Don't refine it too far. You might miss a gem because you are filtering it all out. I hope this helps you to find a pattern on Ravelry. In the next video, we are going to look at how to match the fiber that you've got or want to use to something in Ravelry. I hope this helps you.